Alright, I'm getting ready to run my 4 gauge power wire back to my amp. This wire is here is for the winch on the back. I feel like the fuse is kind of solder and it's melted already because the thing draws a lot. I really need like a hundred amp in there. But the way I'm gonna run this, I'm gonna run it down through that big old grommet there. That's already cut from when I had it done before. I have it all apart in here. And it's gonna come out right down in here. Up in there is where the grommet is. And then run it through that cable tray there and to the back. And it's good. When I first installed my 10 gauge, I like ran it back in behind the fender. It came out and I drilled a hole right here and it came through. But I think that's where it shorted. So, uh, this way you don't see it. It's a whole lot easier. You just stick it through the grommet and pull it back. To make getting your wire through the grommet a little easier, I always take a coat hanger, just cut it, straighten it out. And then it's a whole lot easier since there's already a hole ripped in it. You just take and stick it through there. If it hits stuff, you just kind of move it back and forth and just stick it in until it's just like that. There it is. Comes right up down there. So now I just gotta take and tape my wire to that and pull it back up through the other one. Got the uh, wire all taped up, so just pull. There it is. You want to just keep the hanger in case you have other wires that you're going to pull through. Of course, I never do, so I've gone through like 20 hangers now. And now I'm going to just put it into the other end of my fuse. I'm not going to hook it up to the battery yet because. I still have to do some stuff with it inside and don't want it shorting out and burning up this fuse, so. Right. The blue wire goes right up through there into the engine bay, through the firewall. And uh, now I'm just going to take and run it underneath the carpet so you can't see it. I'm going to run it in this little wire channel here. This one's actually screwed down on like the other side. These things can just come out if you want to. And then you got all of these other wires from your other systems. And then you just take and lay it right down in there with them. And then you put this back. I'm not going to put it back yet because I have a few other things that I'm going to be running in there. And then take out your mag light. And then you're just going to keep it under the carpet. All the way back into the back of the truck.
There you go. Once you get it all back together, you won't even be able to know it's there and it's protected underneath your uh, little raceway here for your wires. So you don't have to worry about stepping on it, whatever. Um, so, yeah.